Hello everyone, and welcome back to the beautiful sandy shores of the Solani Islands, where Nalui, our little lost bride, has woken up after spending a night in her beautiful volcanic cave with a bromeliad on top of it. Oh, you guys, we've finally done it. We have finally set up a place to sleep, and we have actually got quite a few coconut trees. Look at how fast those things grow, and that's actually going to serve us quite well in just a moment here, because today, my friends, is the day where I really hope our little lost bride will be able to get off this island. And in order to make that happen, we do need to do a couple things. First things uh, first, we do need to pay attention to some of her more pressing needs, like her bladder need. And lately she has been having to swim all the way across the lagoon, all the way across, all the way, like run all the way up here to use like this bathroom. What happened to the coconut tree? Something happened to this poor little coconut tree. Oh gosh. I guess we need to be careful with our coconut trees if like one of the wild coconut trees doesn't look so good right now. But she's had to go all the way to the other side of the lagoon to use the restroom. And we're gonna fix that today because we are going to get her a little pea bush and add it into the corner of somewhere around here. And then the other thing we are going to do today is we are finally, 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 going to hopefully get Nalui off these islands. I have a lot of hope for that because of the coconut trees actually, and I'll show you guys my plans in just a moment. But what we need to do is get enough money that Nalui, who I'm actually going to make search for trash this morning, just to make sure that her island home is nice and tidy. But Nalui needs to get a canoe of her very own so that we can actually get off of this little island chain and we can go and visit town where she can work some odd jobs. Uh, she actually shouldn't be, yeah, she can't do any odd jobs right now because the internet doesn't work uh, when you're off the grid. So she can't do any odd jobs at the moment, but if she goes into town, I'm really hopeful that she'll be able to find like plenty of odd jobs to do we'll be able to get enough money to build a tiny little hut house here and get started on the conservation career eventually by joining our good friend makawa and being able to help him out with keeping these beaches clean and well cared for especially because we have really started to make good friends with the dolphins which just is absolutely super exciting but also for Nalui, I'm really hoping that we will be able to send her into town because lucky us, it is night on the town day. So free food and drinks. Uh, oh, and she just saw a baby turtle apparently. And we'll actually apparently see baby turtles once we start cleaning this place up a little bit more. One day reef, one day you will be filled with fish. Oh, this is very exciting. But if we can send Nalui into town, then she will actually get free food and drink. So I kind of love the idea that the rumor that she's kind of this confused, lost person uh, showing up on the shores might be getting around and somebody might take pity and just let her have some free food. <gasps> oh my gosh, we found another, we found another new seashell. What? The fingers of Sulani? Wait, what's this? This is not a seashell. This is not from the seashore. What did we just find here, my friends? There we go. Let's get down here. The fingers of Sulani. What is this? This is interesting. Is this a collectible? Hang on here. Something washed up on the beach. It is. It's a buried treasure collectible. <gasps> we just found our first buried treasure. Princess Cordelia the Bold pondered her gift. Upon disembarking, a young islander girl ran to her with colored stones and a wicker brush. Now staring out the hut window across Lonnie Street, Taz, uh, Lonnie Street, Lonnie St. Taz, there we go, waters to the Solani volcano beyond, she traces the wicker lines, then finally ran it through her long hair. Not as elegant as carving ivory, but charming nonetheless. I say again, Morgan, I say again, Morgan will break Partly to betray you, Captain Rodrigo de Pablo said, sharpening his saber. We are vulnerable. Let me bring the Amada's forces ashore. Whoa, what? Is this like a historical account? His silhouette was imposing, but his vision rarely reached beyond his weapon's range. Yes, Cordelia thought. Hmm, Princess Cordelia, huh? 
We are on the sword's edge, but how small the reward if we never up the ante. Dread pirate Morgan has a ruthless reputation, but it's outbluffed by Rodrigo if she's here only for the treasure hoard. The treasure hoard? Is this part of the treasure hoard? The real treasure is the Solani Islands themselves. You will keep the Amara, Amada, Armada as it is, armed and ready for the parley. parley. Aha, because we're working with pirates! At the sun's high peak, Rodrigo snorted and Cordelia traced the lava flow as she continued brushing her hair. What? You get like these really cool little ancient stories with all of the buried treasure? That is so fun! Oh, I have to have a buried treasure collection that is now like amongst my many requirements for our adventures here. And amongst the requirements for Nalani, now that you guys know that we're going to drag ourselves into town, is to actually find a good bush on her own island to do uh, the, the required amount of business in. So let's begin by breeding her whirly frogs. What? We found a kava bowl? Oh, this is so exciting! We are really finding a whole bunch of new things today. And because we, we bred the whirly flower frogs, we'll say she found another one hopping around because they seem to like her from the waterfall. And a kava bowl? That's so cool! What can we do with a kava bowl? Oh, maybe we can make some kava. That would be really exciting. My sister, my sister says kava is very much an acquired taste. So we need to put it on a counter and then we could try to do a kava party. Oh, we could try. I don't know if we can invite our friend Makoa here, but it might be worth it. All right, let's see if we can use, let's see, outdoor potty bush. Where, where has the potty bush gone? I can't quite. Duty calls modern citizen bush, 290. We need 290 in order to get our hands on that. Well, we're pretty close. Like, how close are we? Oof, we're like ridiculously close. Hmm. I don't want to sell anything. Can we find any more buried treasure? Because she's having like a lot of good luck today. It's very exciting. Hmm. What? We got another one? <laughs> Is that the same? Or I think they're different. No way! A lot of buried treasure has washed ashore today. This is so exciting. I can't sell these. These are precious heritage items. If we have duplicates, I can sell them. And this next one, yeah, it says the same thing, but it's an uncommon variant of, I guess everything's like, maybe you should brush your hair, Nalui. Hmm. Well, don't worry, guys. I have a backup idea for how we're going to make big bucks. Even if, like, this is so cool, though. We're finding so much buried treasure. Let's see. This is so fun. And there we go. Look at the seashells! Pick those back up! I want to take a picture of you with those seashells! Okay, now she's way too distracted. Okay, well we need to, to give the poor girl somewhere to go to the restroom. So, are these coconuts ready to harvest? They are- oh, she's too uncomfortable! Nalui! Nalui! Dang it! Well, I can, I, but we got a free kava bowl. A free kava bowl, Nalui. Ah, oh, curses. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to sell something. So we're going to reveal my grand master plan for getting a canoe. You guys know how quick these coconuts have been growing. Well, watch this. The coconuts themselves only sell for like 15 or 5 samoles. But if we knock down an entire coconut tree, it's 150. 40. Boom! And just like that, we are gonna have enough because we ha we're keeping some of the coconuts. I told you guys these bunches of coconuts were going to serve us like really well. And then, what? Wait, wait, wait. I didn't have to sell that yet because I forgot about this one. The open air natural toilet from Jungle Adventures, which is even more appropriate because it's kind of hibiscus-y. Here, we're gonna put it back here. And we'll move this coconut tree over a little bit. And then we'll kind of move the mailbox this way. And we'll kind of hide the mailbox. Because it is a little awkward to have a random mailbox. But, you know, we're just not going to question things. But I totally, I feel so silly now. I missed that until just now. But the good news is, Nilui now has a place to use the loo. And we are much closer to being able to afford that canoe. We're actually going to get off the island like in good time today. Because these coconut trees, 
they are what we are going to knock down and basically turn into our canoe since we are going to be selling the bits and bobs of these coconut trees Oh, Nalui, this is so exciting. More plants on your island. Let's harvest all the coconuts. There we go. And now she's feeling better. We're about to head into town and get some free food and maybe get a chance to socialize. We have a million coconuts. Look at that, 20, 20 plus coconuts. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic, guys. We may not even need like a part-time job for the summer because we can just be coconut farmers. She's still gathering more. This is wonderful. Okay, so here's the plan. What we're going to do is we're going to say Nalui is going to knock down some of these coconut trees. And she is going to use them to make a canoe. Like a really, a really wobbly canoe, mind you. But maybe she has a little bit of help from someone. I'm not sure. Let's find where the canoe is. You can get the conservationist canoe from the job. Like there's the, oh, the outrigger canoe is more expensive than I thought. What? It's 1,800? Ah, uh, and the conservationist canoe, you have to reach level five of the conservationist career to unlock. I thought that the, for some reason the canoe was only 400. Well, this is gonna be a little trickier than I thought. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think we can do it. We're knocking, <gasps> We're knocking down our little coconut grove, but the good news is, my friends, is that enough? Oh, we're so close. We did it! We did it! We actually made a canoe. We're gonna say she like found one over by the shipwreck and it just needed like some wood planks and we do need to get her woodworking skill up before she can actually build a house, apparently. So that's gonna be really important. But look at that. <gasps> I'm so proud. I love the fact that we actually got access to this canoe from like knocking down a whole bunch of coconut trees. Hmm, and I feel like you Nalui know, might like this blue one. Yeah, I really think that the blue one is definitely for her. It's so cute. All right, so we've got our we've got our very own canoe. This is so exciting. Oh, we can rename it. Oh, we've got to rename this. Um, we're gonna like rename this. Hmm, Kami maybe? Nami? I think like well, Nami is such a nice name. Nami means wave in Japanese. Um, but let's see, let's see. Okay, we're oh oh we did have we got a bunch of ah I always overthink names. Are you guys the same? Like. Uh, coconut shell, uh, 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 scale, hopper, wave. We like let's let's just go. You know what? We're just gonna go with um. Let's see. Little wave. There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna call it little wave. And she's actually pretty much ready to go. Yes, and we have our very own, very own canoe. This is just, I'm way excited about this. And we have a kava bowl that we just kind of like got from nowhere. But before we go, we should probably replant some of our coconuts. I'm kind of thinking that might be a little bit important to do. So let's see. Oh gosh. I mean, we could really become rich just on selling the coconut trees. Here, we'll at least put them down. We'll plant them when we come back, but we do want to replenish our little island's resources. But this is really, they grow so fast, it does feel a little bit cheaty. Like we really wouldn't have to worry about money ever if we just like kept growing and selling coconut trees, at least till the end of summer. And that would actually change things. And that would actually be like in alignment with the season too, which would be interesting. All right, but let's do this. We have our own canoe. Let's go ahead and put it in our pocket. And now we're gonna go ahead and if we click somewhere, can we, <gasps> can we do that? I wanna see if we can just like sail somewhere. Do we have freedom? Are we free? So, <gasps> that's so cool. And just like that, we are free. That is so fine. Oh, I love this. Now Louie, congratulations. We've got our very own canoe. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. 
I'm so in love with all of this. All right, set sail. And there she goes, her own little canoe to just kind of like putter around on. This is great. Okay, let's get into town. We've got people to go meet. Oh no, is this going to be a canoe collision? That is about as... Nidalee, you're a little new at driving these, I think. <laughs> That's about as much of a collision as I could have possibly thought could happen. All right, let's do this. Into town and hopefully into our very first odd jobs. And we're actually going to head over to the Solani Beach Restaurant, which is one that I just downloaded off of the gallery as a random new restaurant. I just really wanted to see what people are already creating. And I would like to go with Makoa. I think it's fun to imagine that we meet him there on our very first day off of the tiny chain of islands. This is our first time into town after all. We need a little bit of a guide. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. I can't wait to do the odd jobs. Also, I can't wait to change out of our wedding dress. <laughs> oh, here, let's go ahead and change outfit. And we're gonna put on his old outfit. Oh, we left behind our boat. That's okay. We know we own the boat. And then let's go and greet friendly and brighten day. Look at this guy's suit. Oh, of course it would be Thorn. He must be here on vacation. And oh, 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 we need to look around, guys. Let's go ahead and we'll request a table as well, even though we look completely. <laughs> well, you know what? It's beach life. You're going to be nice and cozy, right? Gosh, everybody is coming to enjoy a nice restaurant here on the beaches. <gasps> Blobbers! Little blobbers, you guys! Oh, this is so cute! Oh my gosh! All right, Nalui and uh, Nalui and her friend. Oh, oh, oh. No way! That's the mermaid. <laughs> Nalani is the the mermaid, and she's actually like serving tables. That is so funny. I guess she's just making everything nice and comfy. But alright, so let's look at the cute little restaurant really fast. Oh, look at the thatching! The thatching on the roof is adorable. I love it. I love this little balloon. Oh, this is so much fun. This is so cool. And look at the beach. So we're right next to the beach right over here. And this is a good spot for people just to come and relax. It looks like a perfect place to bring your kids, to go swimming, to maybe like search around the area for seashells. <gasps> Look at how the trees are decorated with really cute little lights. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, what else? Wow, those amazing waterfalls. <gasps> Oh man, I would want to be just diving off those waterfalls and enjoying this so much. That's so pretty. Oh, look at that path. Does it go anywhere? I want to go wherever that path goes. It does go somewhere. It's so pretty. I, I need to send my sims just right up. <gasps> the chickens. The wild chickens. I'm speechless with joy. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. I am, I think this is like, Nilui would be so happy. She's off the island. We can come and visit. Does somebody live here? Nobody lives here, but I would definitely just like tour that house. Oh, this, this view. Oh, you guys. We, oh, another waterfall. We've got a lot to look at. We really do. Oh, this is going to be so cool. But all right, first things first, Nalui is off of the islands and now she's here managing to sneak a little bit of free food because people are taking pity on her uh, and definitely think that she has, she, she, you know, she's got a little bit of trouble going on, but hey, Makoa is here. Maybe he can start talking to her and they will be able to start looking for odd jobs, which we will do not this time, but next time. Uh, and after we, we have a free meal, it is a night on a town, we should feast as much as we can. And then we might even start talking with Makoa much sooner than I thought we would about what we could do to help out with the conservation job, since with our harvest of coconut trees, we really might be able to afford the ability to build a house much sooner than I thought. But we need to remember that's only going to be till the end of summer which is actually a long, long time. So we'll just, we'll have to see how it works out.
But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me and for joining mm -hmm. Nalui as she finally gets herself off the island. Sensei, it looks like we've almost go. found an easy hacky way <laughs> to make a ton of money. Shibble, so now maybe we can start making a difference oh, and even making yeah, new so memories cool. for wow, our wow. little lost Self. bride. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.